How's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning in. We got another good one for you today. Making videos on FX rifles is always a treat for me. You guys know FX, they just keep on innovating. Nothing can stop them. This is their latest innovation. It's called the Lil Slugger Power Pup. And it's from the FX Streamline series. So what's different about the Lil Slugger? Most of you are going to be familiar with the FX Streamline series, which is basically three or four different guns that all use the same components. There's a lot of interchangeable things. So the Dreamline Power Pup came out a little while ago, and that's basically their bullpup version of the Dreamline. But on the original Power Pup, it added the functionality of a removable air cylinder that effectively doubled the capacity of the former Dreamline model. So both of these are available with either a 400cc aluminum bottle that fills to 230 bar or a 480 cc carbon fiber bottle that's fillable to 250 bar and as far as i can tell the power pup and the little slugger are the same it's just that the power pup comes with a 600 or 700 millimeter barrel and the little slugger comes with a 500 millimeter barrel both of these are going to have the fx smooth twist x barrel system so you can change out liners and things like that it includes the 500 millimeter smooth twist x barrel and liner system so I'm just guessing that it probably comes with a slug liner, since it's called the Little Slugger. As well, there's an upgraded 80cc power plenum to deliver even more power and performance from this compact bullpup. And this, of course, helps you shoot heavier slugs and pellets. The power will be adjustable on this, so I'm sure you can turn it down to shoot pellets. It says the Little Slugger uses a 500mm barrel to reduce overall length, providing the most compact and maneuverable Dreamline bullpup experience yet. I know people love their Wildcats and their uh, FX Bullpups are really some of the favorites among air gunners. It's got an externally adjustable AMP regulator, adjustable hammer spring tension, power wheel, two-stage adjustable match trigger, and a smooth side lever. It says it also uses a Smooth Twist X STX system of barrels and liners that result in superb accuracy and versatility. Any of you who don't know, basically there's a liner inside that acts as your barrel and you can just pull that out and Let's say you had a pellet liner. You pull that pellet liner out and you put the slug liner in and now you're shooting slugs and the liners are cheap. They're, I don't know how much they are. They're under $99. So you get yourself like three different liners for three of your favorite different types of ammo and uh, really provides superb accuracy. As well, you guys, it says the FX Dreamline Power Pup Little Slugger comes with a Donny FL moderator. Shots per fill on this little slugger. We're looking at 85 shots in 22, 52 shots in 25, and 38 shots in 30 caliber. That is with the aluminum bottle. You're going to get slightly more with the carbon fiber bottle. You're going to get 110 shots in 22, 68 shots in 25, and 48 shots in 30 caliber. Now this is available in 177, 22, 25, and 30 caliber, both models. The magazine capacity in 177 caliber is going to be 21 rounds. It's going to hold 18 rounds in 22, 16 rounds in 25, and 13 rounds in 30 caliber uses a standard side shot magazine. Also, you guys, the Dreamline is modular, so if you decide you want to take your bullpup stock off and put a wooden traditional rifle stock on there, you can do that. As well as there's a uh, tactical chassis called the Dream Light. Has a Foster Quick Disconnect fill port built right in. This is gonna come with a Dove's Tail optics rail. Overall length on this little slugger is just 29.5 inches. It weighs just 6.75 pounds with the aluminum bottle. Damn it or 6.4 pounds with a carbon fiber bottle. And it looks like they both come with Donny FL moderators. Now for the original Power Pup, the muzzle energy in 177 was 32 foot pounds, 69 foot pounds in 22, 84 foot pounds in 25, and 105 foot pounds in 30 caliber. And that's a lot of power. That's slinging a 177, 22, and 25 over 1,000 feet per second, and it's shooting the 30 caliber 970 feet per second. So let's, uh, let me just pop over here to the little slugger that we're looking at today. With the shorter barrel, the power is pretty similar. It says it's got 50 foot pounds in 22, 65 foot pounds in 25, and 80 foot pounds in 30. So slightly less foot pounds than the 600, 700 millimeter barrel, but I'm sure it's going to shoot slugs just fine. They know what they're doing. So, all right, here we go. All right, we got the 33.95 grain and the 25.39 grain. We're going to see how fast they're flying. And then we will introduce some slugs. We're gonna get this party started at a very special 37 yards away. So just like the FX Pantera a couple weeks ago, 
the little slugger arrived to me tuned perfectly to shoot pellets and it would need to be turned up in order to shoot slugs. So real quick, here's some accuracy testing with the light and heavyweight JSP pellets. I forgot I do have the MK2, which are the 33.95 grain redesigns, and some Javelin slugs. Looks like, yeah, they're not expired, so we can still use those. Awesome. All right, we're going to start with the 25.39 grain JSB. Rearward cocking on this one. I reached for the charging handle, there was nothing there. Oh, nice trigger. Nice everything, actually. 918 with the 25.39 grains. Wow. Nice. So let me uh, click over there. We'll do a one shot side in. Actually, let's shoot for that hole right there. I don't think we're going to be sighted in all the way. Ooh, pretty close because I had forgotten my elevation. Look at that. Hole through the hole. Nice. Wow, this gun's sweet. All right, so we know the 25.39 grains kicking butt. We don't even need to test those anymore. Now we're doing the 33.95 grain. We're going to call them the MK1s. We should drop a little bit. I'm going to aim at that same hole. <laughs> Through the same hole with the 33s. 840. All right, let's hit one of these bullseyes. <laughs> I'm not even like... There's like six mile an hour wind, and it's the end of the day. This isn't supposed to be accuracy testing, but I, I suppose this gun can't help itself. I keep thinking it's a miss, and it goes right through the hole. Wow, look at that, you guys. That's the 33 grain. Mopping it up. Is the MK2s. Wow, that is so good, you guys. Through the scope, at least, looks awesome. Especially because I'm like really nervous and I, I feel like I'm shaking when I'm shooting right now. So when I started shooting the slug, the really light ones, 26 grains, were just too loose in the barrel. They were too small. Getting one inch groups on those. Then as we moved up in weight, they fit great, but they were just traveling too slow. Long story short, if you want to shoot slugs, they need to be traveling about 950 feet per second. And so you'd need to turn the velocity up a little bit on the little slugger, get those slugs flying 950, and then you'll get excellent accuracy. You think we got to turn that power up, bugaboo? Hell yeah! Thanks for testing the gun. We're going to get into some 50-yard shooting in a minute here. But first, here's a look at that trigger. Definitely match grade. It's fully adjustable. Mine came in at 1.3 ounces, but you have to be careful when adjusting FX triggers. If you don't do it properly, then the safety can stop working. So probably best to just leave it where it's at. So rather than trying to tune for the slugs, I thought it was a better idea to just shoot some 50 yard groups with the JSB pellets. So here we are at a very special. 50 yards away, nailed it. All right, nice calm morning. We're doing pellets. For the first part of this session, I was having some eye trouble. I don't know if there's something wrong with my eyes today or what, but it's like, it looks like the crosshairs are like doubling up. Once I adjusted my crosshairs, I could see a lot better. Anyway, I'm starting this off once I finally got my scope and my crosshairs dialed in. Here are the official JSB 50 yard groups. All right, way over here, let's do an official 33 grain MK1. That second shot went off before I wanted it to. The gun is very forgiving. Oh, again, an accidental shot right through the bullseye, more or less. So that's a nice dime size group, guys, on the first try here. Let me just see if I can tune in a little better here. All right, so again, this is the uh, 33 MK1s.
Even me being very, very nervous. It's working out great. So that's awesome. All right, let's go for, uh, we'll keep it in the frame right there. Well, first I want to see where it's going to hit. So my test, oh, it's my cider right there. And my gun was like sideways. Let's see, straight up and down. There it is. One more good group here. And I'm talking about me. I know the gun can do it, and I'm pretty sure these MK2s can do it. Yeah, I'm shooting sloppy now. There it is. That's awesome. So mopping it up with the MK1 and the MK2, JSB 33.95 grains. So let me just take another. This is a 25.39 grain here. Look at that, the 25 just came to life. Look at that, you guys, this is a 25.39 grain. Just decided it wanted to be sighted in. Same spot, 50 yards. Wow, same hole in it. I'm loving this. Oh my gosh, guys, this has to be the baddest bullpup ever created. All right, so I'm gonna leave this bad boy with a funky fresh factory tune. But if you did want to turn the power up for slugs, the regulator adjustment screw is actually going to be located under here or in the tube version. I think it's just sticking right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the stock off. We're going to look at that. Whoa, there was a spider inside my gun, you guys. This little dude was living in there. Hey, buddy. This guy came all the way from Sweden. He's been, he's been with me the whole time. But anyway, sorry about your uh, home there, buddy. Let me just put him outside real fast. So right under where the bottle is right there, that's gonna be your regulator adjustment screw. One thing that's very important with all FX rifles, it always says this is never fire the rifle when there's no air in it. So with that in mind and making sure that there's no ammo in the gun, to turn your regulator up, you're just gonna turn it counterclockwise for more pressure and when you do, you'll instantly see the needle on your regulator will move up. That's counterclockwise to turn the regulator up. To turn the regulator pressure down, you're gonna go clockwise, no more than a quarter turn, then dry fire it a few times until the pressure goes down a little bit and stays at one point. And then if you wanna go down further, you can turn another quarter turn and dry fire it in between. This wheel back here, your hammer spring tension adjuster, the top is the reed position, they call it. So the top is, that one is uh, on 23 right there. So when you're tuning the power pup up and down, you want to tune mainly with your regulator pressure. So go ahead and put that bad boy on 13 right there. That's why it has a circle around it. And then once you get close to your desired velocity with just your regulator, then you can turn your hammer spring up and down for fine tuning of your velocity. So that's how that's done. Pretty simple. All right, you got a decal for your car and a decal for your tank, or this is a sticker for your tank, a decal for your car. Super great uh, manual that has all the stuff in it that I told you about tuning it, cleaning it, um, loading the magazine, not shooting it with no air in there. So this is how an FX magazine loads. You take the cover off like that, and then you wind it all the way. And then you're going to put a pellet in there. You just drop it right in there. And then that's going to hold the wheel. And then once the wheel's in, you just fill it all in there like that. And you put this back on. And go two notches either direction. And now you're good. Slip that baby in right over the barrel and rock and roll. This is a little shooting I did right after the 50 yard segment and this is just holding over at between 60, 65 yards away. So I'll leave you with this. That's it for me on this one. Obviously I'm impressed with the accuracy of really any 2023 FX rifle. Oh, I can barely see that guy. Any year FX for that matter. I've got an FX that's probably 
six years old and it shoots lights out so one thing I love about yeah. FX is that they have a rifle in every price range so you can pick up these dream lines for $800 used on Airgun Nation classified or even eleven twelve hundred dollars brand new for like the dream light tactical so even a value price FX is gonna give you supreme accuracy and they're all gonna shoot just like this one does so I'll guarantee that all right everybody till next week happy shooting we'll see you on the next one